All right, there's a lot to unpack here. Let's bring in Troy Slayton, a criminal defense lawyer and former prosecutor who specializes in constitutional law. Troy, Happy New Year. Thank you for being here to talk about this uh, subject, this unfolding matter that just seems to keep going. Uh, Happy let, New Year, Molly. Yeah, let's kick off with what... Uh, um, is, the congressman, uh, Devin Nunes, is trying to accomplish. He's, there's this web, Wednesday deadline looming, and what he wants is information from the Department of Justice, from the FBI. He wants to get to the bottom of the whole dossier subject, uh, what it was used for, when it came into the hands of the FBI. Will he get the answers he's seeking, and will he see them by any chance sometime this week? Well, he might or he might not. <laughs> Congress has the not only the absolute power, but the duty to conduct oversight over the FBI and the Department of Justice. And so if the FBI and the DOJ aren't willing to voluntarily turn over uh, documents and other materials related to anything that Congress wants to find out about, then they issue subpoenas. But the problem comes with the enforcement of a subpoena. There may be very good reasons to not comply with the subpoena, that there's classified information, that it affects national security. Security, that there's an ongoing criminal investigation like we know there is here but you just can't not respond but the problem is if they just don't respond and Congress wants to enforce the subpoena they'd have to go to the DOJ and <laughs> certainly DOJ lawyers aren't going to go to court to seek a, uh, to seek a remedy or contempt against themselves yeah what, what about that a possible contempt of, of Congress there's as you mentioned this is a big complicated web could we see some sort of action taken uh, if they don't see what they want to see by midweek by the third well that would be the remedy normally under the the normal course for uh, Congress then to ask the Justice Department to file contempt proceedings in federal court but here it's the Justice Department itself that is not complying. And if the reason why they're not complying is a question about national security or classified uh, documents, there are ways to handle that, especially with the Intelligence Committee. They have uh, secret rooms that uh, they're able to share information with the Congress uh, men and women uh, without having the worry that that information will be largely disseminated. All right, now let's shift to this uh, New York Times report that this former aide, to the Trump campaign, George Papadopoulos may have had this drunken conversation back in May of 2016, speaking with an Australian diplomat uh, that he knew the Russians had some dirt on Hillary Clinton, uh, and then ultimately that diplomat passing information on to the U.S. intelligence. The idea behind this report is that, hey, maybe it wasn't the dossier, it wasn't the dossier, this came first, this conversation came first, but you know, does it doesn't matter exactly how the FBI got this investigation started. The, the political sides seem to really want each uh, estimate to matter, but does it ultimately matter from a legal circumstance? Well, uh, it, it, it may, because if the, if the sole impetus to start this investigation was this uh, largely discredited uh, steel dossier that looks like it was funded by the mm -hmm. uh, Clinton campaign, by the DNC, then that provides a problem. Then it looks like it was the DNC that paid to have uh, an investigation of the, the Trump campaign. Mm -hmm. But if there are other more innocuous reasons why the investigation was started that, that provided the probable cause for the FBI to seek the FISA warrants that may have provided uh, legal grounds for surveillance on Trump aides, then that is a, a really big deal. Yeah, so, so then the repercussions in, in essence. But at the same time, it wouldn't change the, the actions that were taken regarding the dossier. If the DNC and the Clinton campaign still paid for everything that went down and created, that ultimately led to the creation of this dossier, it doesn't change you know, the actions that were taken by those people, those entities, those individuals, right? Absolutely, and you, you can't unring the bell. Right. Uh, the investigation has started. So whatever reason the investigation has started, we're, we're far down that path. A, a special counsel has been appointed. Uh, Mueller is conducting the investigation. And although there are uh, arguments and good arguments uh, coming from the Republicans about the independence of the, of the special counsel and some um, possible uh, appearance of impropriety that may be involved with some of the uh, prosecutors and investigators on Mueller's team, uh, the investigation is underway and is going to go forward. Yeah, there's a lot of digging to be done. Still, you know, that question, the chicken or the egg, which came first? I'm sure the answers will come out on that, hopefully, in the end, and we'll get a lot of these answers. Troy Slayton, we appreciate it. Thanks for joining us today. Thanks, Molly.